one word given by him is more binding than a contract of 100 pages. Remember the Pixar movie Cars, where all characters have wheels and an engine? That's Roger. Anything with an engine in it, he has passion towards it. But I mean, obviously from the dealership to the racetrack, I mean, he loves the automobile industry. And I don't think you could go as deep as he has and to where he has if he didn't have extreme passion for the entire you know, automobile industry. He's excellent at you know, getting all the right people in the right places and putting the whole package together. And you know, you're, only, you're only as strong as your weakest link. And he knows how to make, the, make all, the, all the links strong. And that's, that's what it takes. In a lot of ways, I feel like that's why he's gotten to where he is today because everybody around him wants to elevate themselves to be like him. And he doesn't ask anybody to do anything he wouldn't do himself. During a period of time when a whole lot of people left Detroit and walked away, uh, Roger Penske stepped in and said, uh, we can rebuild this. And that's something Detroiters will never forget. He's an enormously popular person among the everyday residents of the city. He's always talking about what he could do better. Maybe he just won a race, but he's always talking about how to get a little bit better. And when a guy is like that, it's hard to find any weaknesses because he doesn't, he doesn't celebrate the victories very long. He's looking at the future. He's so innovative. He's thinking about things that no one else has thought about. There's no doubt he's, uh, he's visionary. He's seeing where things are going, and he's figuring out how to get there ahead of everybody else. I don't know where he finds the time to do as many things as he gets done. To run businesses all over the world, the trucking business, the rental business, the racing business, the car business. He does an exceptional job of picking the right people and keeping them motivated. My dad set some, you know, very high standards for himself. Just being around that, I think as, you know, employees, especially as his kids, you know, you all, you want to do and act the way he's acting. And I think he leads by example, and his example is always one of, you know, respect, integrity, um, and just hard work and dedication. He started the Downtown Detroit Partnership and raised private money to clean up uh, the city at a time when there weren't any resources available. There's no doubt that contributed uh, to the rebirth of uh, Detroit. And the beauty is now uh, another generation of leadership has taken over that partnership that he started. So. He's really uh, built uh, a legacy that's going to last a long time. He has good people, but he is the captain. He is the leader of the ship. He's the man that keeps everybody in, t in step, and uh, nobody can do it like Roger. I believe his leadership earned him that nickname, and not just on the racetrack. He runs all of his endeavors with the precision and discipline of a Navy SEAL military operation. He keeps his cool under pressure, he has a strong command presence. There's no doubt the moniker fits. You know, he gets everybody taken care of, he handles his race, and then he still gets there to be the grandpa he needs to be, and he doesn't, you know, leave any stone unturned. He's, he's, he's pretty special. I can be walking through the pits with him and he'll notice a sticker on the side of his truck is not like it's supposed to be. It's that attention to detail that makes him a champion. On a day like today, I think it's proof to everybody on what can be accomplished with hard work and dedication, and we're just all so proud of you, and we all love you so much. So congratulations on your induction into the Auto Hall of Fame.